Oh my god, Caleb, you're the worst. <laughs> hey guys, we're already into week seven of Big Brother and OMG, what a week this be. So much happened this week that I loved and I could honestly do probably a 30 minute episode on it, but I won't. So I'm gonna focus on my favorite and funniest moments. Caleb and Victoria being tied together for 48 hours. I just love that Caleb was complaining so much about Victoria, but Caleb's just as stupid as she is. Another favorite moment when Zach and Caleb were having the who's worse off conversation. Caleb thought he was way worse off because he had to shave his head. And Zach was like, dude, you're safe. I'm on the block. Are you kidding me? Another moment I loved was during the Power of Veto competition when they had to zip line across the comic book window. Caleb saw Amber's and thought she looked so hot, he wants to get a prescription to her magazine. I loved how crazy Zach went during his Power of Veto and how serious it got at the end of his scene. It was just like serious music and then it faded to commercial. Up until the double eviction night, it's been a really predictable Big Brother season, but now tables are starting to turn. The house votes out Jocasta, another woman gone, and then we have another eviction and they send Hayden home, and this is when everything blows up. We're finally getting to the juice! Watching Sunday night's episode, my heart was like racing and I had butterflies in my stomach because this is what I love about Big Brother. People calling each other out, people throwing each other the bus, truth being told, people starting to make some big moves in the game. I have to give it up to Nicole for taking lead on this and, you know, throwing a curveball into this game. Nicole and Christine were head of household. Christine put up Zach and Donnie. Nicole put up Frankie and Caleb. Caleb offered to go up as the pawn because he's pissed at Frankie along with everyone else. The goal now is to get Frankie out of the house. Here's where I think Caleb went wrong. Caleb bowed out of the Battle of the Block competition, leaving Frankie to play it on his own, which seemed like a huge deal and that it was going to be really hard. I actually think that he gave Frankie an advantage. Being able to leverage a bar with your own two hands is a lot easier than communicating with another person and their hands versus your hands. If Caleb would have just played the Battle of the Block competition with Frankie and been sort of a hot mess, they would have lost and it would have gone according to plan. And we wouldn't be in this drama that we're in, but oh, do I love the drama. One final note on Sunday night's episode. Frankie thinks that he's gonna gain everyone's trust by revealing his big dark secret, that his sister is Ariana Grande, crickets. 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 Oh, no one in the house cares? No kidding. Ariana Grande, though one of the biggest pop stars in the world right now and having a billion hit songs on the radio, hasn't been famous that long. I don't think revealing his big secret is going to change anything. Derek is still my pick to win Big Brother, and I think he should team up with Victoria and form a secret alliance with her and take her to final two because no one in the jury house is going to pick Victoria to win Big Brother. Anyway guys, I'm so excited for this week's gameplay. We, I feel like we've only just begun to really sink our teeth into this season. Hope you guys are enjoying watching along with me and I'll see you later.